Georgia becomes the first man since Kyoko Kenho in 2012 main journey to win the top division championship as a Hiramaku rank and fighter. One of the big reasons why I got into sumo was because it's a combat sport without its outright brutality. There's just something about the other physical contact sports that I feel uncomfortable with. Boxing is just way too flashy, while MMA just seems too violent. I like to watch the lens of how far the human strength can go mixed with the strategy of martial arts, but I don't enjoy watching brute force. And that's what I like about sumo. It's really about strength and technicality and strategy without the violence. It handles that violence that comes with these kinds of sports with a certain amount of grace. However, when you get into it for a while, you do get to realize that what sumo lacks in barbarity, it makes up for its absence of sympathy. Sumo is merciless. And this tragic reality is best seen in sumo wrestler Tochinoshin's career. He was one of the best and strongest wrestlers in the sport, but now, because of sumo's indifference to injuries and the immense pressure from its ranking system, Tochinoshin could well be nearing the twilight of his career. So what happened to Tochinoshin? Today in Wrestler Spotlight, we are deconstructing the career of Tochinoshin Suyoshi. Born on October 13, 1987, Levan Gurgatse in the country of Georgia initially trained in judo and sambo as a teenager. When he was 17 years old, he competed in amateur sumo in multiple world championships. He was training at the prestigious Nichidai Sumo Club in Nihon University, where a member of the club convinced the Georgian native to pursue a professional career in sumo. In 2006, he was recruited to Kasugama Stable before his tourist visa was just about to expire. After two years, he was able to climb up the divisions of sumo and gained the Sekitori status after 11 straight winning records in the Grand Sumo Tournaments that are held six times a year for 15 consecutive days. In the May Tournament of 2008, Tochinoshin debuted in the top division of sumo but recorded a majority loss over the 15 days. Tochinoshin's performances in 2009 offset his lackluster debut year in the top division by closing the year by finishing runner-up to Hakuho at 12 wins, 3 losses, and winning his first special prize, the Fighting Spirit Award, in the November 2009 Grand Tournament. He was promoted from Maegashira 8 to Maegashira 1 in the next tournament in January 2010. In this tournament, Tochinoshin was able to defeat four Ozeki in a row, becoming only the second man below Sekiwake to achieve this, following Masurao in March 1987, which was also the same year Tochinoshin was born. This performance merited the Georgian to a promotion to the title holder ranks for the first time. From 2010 to 2013, he had four appearances in a tournament as a Komusubi, and he scored six wins, nine losses for every single time he appeared in the title holder rosters of the top division. In May 2011, he equaled his best ever top division performance, once again finishing runner-up to Hakuho on 12-3 and winning another Fighting Spirit prize. In that year, in what I can only call the golf club incident, Tochinoshin and two other wrestlers broke Heia rules on curfew and wearing western-style clothes in public. As punishment, their stable master beat the three wrestlers with the infamous golf club and also a training ban that resulted in Tochinoshin's poor performance in the November tournament. 
The stable master was given a stern warning by the Japan Sumo Association for extreme violence. In July 2013, Toshinoshin suffered an ACL injury. That's the ligament that provides stability as you move your knee and is commonly torn due to sudden changes in direction which will cause the knee to rotate inward. Due to this injury, Tochinoshin sat out for three tournaments, making him drop out of Sekitori and to the unsalaried division of Makushita. Getting back into the game starting at Makushita 55, Tochinoshin achieved a 7-0 perfect record championship in March 2014 that had him promoted to Makushita number 6 in the next tournament. With another 7-0 championship in the division, he entered the salary Juryo ranks as Juryo 12 in July 2014. He effortlessly got another championship in the tournament and got him promoted to Juryo 5 in the next. With another easy 15-0 championship in Juryo, he proved that there is only one division he belongs to, and that's the Makuuchi or the top division. Tachinoshin finally made it back to the top division after seven tournaments since his ACL injury in November 2014, and he scored 11-4 and picked up his fourth Fighting Spirit Award. Two thousand eighteen will be the best year of Tochinoshin's career. Wrestling at the rank of Maegashira three, Tochinoshin won his first ever top division championship, welcoming the year with the Emperor's Cup in his hands. For his exemplary performance, he received a technique prize and an outstanding performance prize, along with the Georgian Medal of Honor from his home country. He is the first Georgian wrestler to win a top division championship in sumo and broke Kasugano Stable's decades-long dry spell for top division championships, as Kasugano Stable hasn't had a wrestler win the championship since 1972. In the next tournament, Tochinoshin as Sekiwake won, cemented his place as a title holder with a solid 10 wins, 5 loss record, and an outstanding performance prize, and proved himself unstoppable when in the next immediate tournament as Sekiwake won, he finished as runner-up with a 13 wins, 2 loss record, a fighting spirit prize, and a technique prize. Because of his consistent performances for the last three tournaments, Tochinoshin qualified for the promotion to Ozeki. In July 2018, he entered the tournament for the first time in his highest rank to date, Ozeki Tochinoshin. Tochinoshin is the first ever Ozeki from Georgia. He took a total of 60 bashos after his Makunochi debut to earn his promotion becoming the slowest all-time to do so. In July 2018, his first tournament as Ozeki had a good start, winning all of his matches from day 1 to day 5. But he injured his right big toe on day 6, causing him to withdraw. He has had so many highs and lows during his 12 years in Ozumo. The dominance he showed that earned him the promotion to Ozeki seemed difficult for Tochinoshin to maintain at the rank for the next tournaments. This goes to show that really, sumo isn't an easy sport. But consistency is hard to achieve when you only have roughly 60 days in between 15-day tournaments. In January 2019, 
the Georgian wrestler suffered four straight defeats due to a thigh injury he picked up in training shortly before the tournament. Tochinoshin lost his Ozeki rank in March 2019 after getting Makekoshi for two tournaments. Having only had his Ozeki rank for five tournaments, he equaled the record for the shortest Ozeki reign in sumo. But fans need not give up just yet, as Sekiwake in the May 2019 yes. tournament, Tochinoshin can still be able to reclaim the Ozeki rank if he manages to get a double-digit winning record in the tournament. Now you'd think Tochinoshin has won that bout against Asanoyama easily, but the judges called for a mono-e, or a review of the referee's decision. Because apparently it wasn't clear if Tochinoshin stepped out of the ring first before Asanoyama did. Now this fight was important to Tochinoshin, because at this point of the tournament, he had scored 9 wins so far. So having this 10th win, will secure his re-promotion to the Ozeki rank. So basically, the judges have some lengthy deliberation to do to make sure they make the right call. So while we wait on the judges to do that, I think this is a great time to talk about Skillshare, our sponsors for this video. Because this channel has always been about taking you with me into my journey discovering new things about Sumo. So it was actually perfect that I partnered up with a community that fosters curiosity and exploring new things. Skillshare.com offers thousands of classes of all kinds where you can learn new skills or go into a deep dive about the passions you have. I personally have been taking this class, creating a modern cinematic documentary film with Soul by Dan Dan Liu, who just came back from filming an up-and-coming female boxer in Japan. I actually loved her tips on crafting interview questions, and her explanation on the development process of documentary filmmaking helped me create a good idea of what video I can make when I ever make a trip to Japan to cover sumo, of course. So these classes on Skillshare are curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads. Another thing is that they're always launching new premium classes, so we can always find something new to discover and learn. Other than that, for multilingual people like myself, Skillshare's entire catalog of classes now offers subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. So they have offered a free one-month trial to the first 1,000 subscribers of this channel. And you can get that one month free on Skillshare by clicking the link in the description of this video. Ooh, it seems our judges have come to a decision, so let's hear what they have to say about this make-or-break bout. It was make or break for Tochinoshin, and he closed the tournament with a 10 wins, 5 loss record, allowing him to be promoted back to Ozeki in the next tournament. However, his re-promotion to Ozeki in July 2019 didn't go so well. Tachinoshin withdrew on day 6, citing injuries to his knee and shoulder after having suffered 5 straight losses. The next tournament wasn't any better, most probably due to not having enough time to heal and the mental despair from losing his Ozeki rank. He closed the year with a tournament withdrawal in November 2019 after fracturing his rib in his bout against Takarofuji. 
It will be the last time we see Tochinoshin in the Sanyaku ranks. Right now, it's really hard to watch Tochinoshin in the ring. You can tell the injuries and taking no time to properly heal them is catching up to him. But the dilemma of choosing to heal your injuries for the prize of getting demoted to lower divisions becomes even more unthinkable at 34 years old. There are no breaks to be had in sumo without the consequences. There's no sympathy for soldiers whose bodies cannot withstand the battles. And that's the sad fact about the sport, sumo's hidden brutality. But if there is one thing we can learn about Hakuho's Zensho Yusho in July 2021 and Terunofuji's Fuji's promotion to Yokozuna after being demoted all the way to Johnny Dunn, is that sumo is experiencing the era of comebacks. I can only hope that it's still not too late for Tochinoshin to make a comeback of his own.